Hello guys, and welcome back to TSN, or the Sasuke Nerds. This is gonna be a bit of a quick review, but today we will be beginning our ANW 15 episode reviews. Of course, we will be starting with none other than the first episode, which showcases qualifiers 1 and 2. <laughs> For those unfamiliar to the format, I will explain how qualifiers will work because we have 8 of these qualifiers to work with. 30, yes 30, people compete for qualifier, and the top 11 are guaranteed to advance to semifinals. 12th and 13th on the leaderboard will duke it out on a shortened version of the semifinals course for the final semifinals spot. The women's leaderboard has a similar scenario for 4th and 5th place. By the end of each qualifier, 12 men and 4 women will remain. But if what you're looking for here is my opinion, let me burst your bubble. This episode was not very great. Am I being harsh? Well, let me explain. So qualifier 1 had an average course. For the shortcomings that the pole vault and getaway had, some obstacles were pretty alright. For example, the lasso launch was pretty cool, even though that was based on an idea made by ninjas in the past. Also, I think the mega wall was a bit of an improvement, though if I'm being honest, I think anything is better than what we had in the past. Meanwhile, Qualifier 2's course was more of the same, with one exception, the second obstacle. I didn't know it was possible, but I think Greased Lightning is somehow a worse obstacle than Patriot Pass. A nunchuck obstacle in 2023 is like a propeller bar in AW6. The runoffs or second chance round, whatever you want to call it, were decent enough. Though we never really got a chance to see, you know, a decent race, because three out of the four races we saw were basically over before they began. Two of them, funny enough, ended on the legally distinct quad steps. Somehow. While we're on the topic of results, they were fine enough. You got the clears you mostly expected, and some decent shock value where it counted. Though two runs hurt. Brian Kretsch and James McGrath. For very random reasons, may I add. For starters, Brian Kretsch was a victim of the famous commentator's curse, but on a whole new level, where even the profile was a curse. Now I know this is normal for a par for the course, but it's just something I'd like to add. His run was a pretty big shock, that interview about his career even more so. But James's run, I'd be a fan of, had it not been put on YouTube. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, James. As for the editing, it is, to put it simply, terrible. Per qualifier, we get roughly six or seven full runs, which is pretty much unacceptable. I understand that the show is running on borrow time, but airtime is very clearly being wasted at certain points. For example, the TikTok twins. Need I say more? Yes, I am aware that they were likely shown due to having clout. Does that excuse them digesting a mega wall clear? Absolutely not. Not to mention, the level of profiles in this episode is insane, though I commend AW for not doing sob stories, which is quite a divisive subject when it comes to this show. Quite a few big names likely wouldn't have needed to be fast forwarded if they had simply cut down on the profiles. Another point I'd like to mention is the blatant shilling the show has had so far. For example, every time they bring up the Mega Wall prize money, they bring up Wells Fargo repeatedly as if it's a Legends of the Hidden Temple prize. That, in addition to the random product placements, makes the situation rather worrying. Whether casual viewers realize it, the show is losing money, and it is losing it rather badly. But in conclusion, I really hope this season can make a turnaround, however likely that is. You be the judge. 
But with this episode being compared to AW14, it really does feel like a massive step down in quality. But with that, we reach the end of this rapid review, as you could call it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share it to your friends, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. See ya!